All right, hey guys. So today I'm uh, at the skate park and the reason for that is that for this video, I want to learn how to do a kickflip. Now, when I was younger, I did do a bit of skateboarding when I was around 10 or 11 years old. And I did skate for, uh, I think a year or so. Uh, I wasn't the be best at it, but I was able to do a, a few uh, few things. The one thing that I never learned uh, to do properly was uh, a kickflip. I never managed to land an actual kickflip. Then five years ago, when I was about 21, I bought this and I used it for probably a week and then it has just been collecting, sitting and collecting dust in my apartment uh, for five years now. So the goal that I have for this video is to actually finally land a kickflip. Now I'm pretty sure that I uh, still know how to do, do an ollie, but I'm just going to give it a few attempts, see if I can land that. And uh, if I'm successful at that, then I'm just going to go straight to attempting uh, the kickflip and then probably just see how long it will take me from there. Alright, so we've been at the skate park for I think a little over an hour now and uh, I got close a few times but I didn't actually manage uh, to land a kickflip. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to head home and then I'll give it another try tomorrow. Okay, so it's day two, the weather is great and I'm heading to the skate park. Okay, so it's been a few days now and I just wanted to do a quick outro for this video. As you saw, I finally, after a bunch of attempts, managed to land a kickflip. And I just had a few thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, the first thing, uh, this took me a little over two hours. I think it was two hours and 20 minutes in total uh, to finally land a kickflip. 
And I don't want you guys to be discouraged if you go out and try this and it takes you longer because obviously I have an advantage in that I have skateboarded before and I have some experience uh, actually attempting the kickflip. Although many years ago, it is still an advantage. Now, the second thing I want to say is that obviously I'm extremely excited since this is a skateboard trick that I have been wanting to be able to perform for so many years and finally being able to do it is an amazing feeling. Now, the third and final thing that I want to touch upon before I end the video is something that you've probably already been bombarded with uh, through the media. That is the coronavirus. As we speak, it is currently the 23rd of March and I'm uh, located in, uh, in Denmark where basically the entire country has been shut down for I think a little over a, a week now and it, it is expected that the country will continue to stay shut down all the way until the 16th of April as things stand right now. And I just wanted to mention uh, because I see a lot of countries going through some of the same things right now. I just wanted to mention that this is a perfect opportunity for you guys since everyone is isolated for you to spend some time doing some of the things that you always wanted to do so whether that be getting around to reading some of those books that you always wanted to read uh, maybe even starting to learn a new language learning to solve the rubik's cube picking up a new instrument whatever it is this is the perfect time to do it but that was it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned for more